Bowman here from BW1.com and we're going to take a look at the Chrome for Android beta. Just released today by Google, the Chrome for beta is basically taking the Chrome browser that you've seen on the desktop and in Chromebooks and putting it finally within Android. It's only available for Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich currently and it's going to kind of coincide with the standard browser that's already within Android but I'm pretty sure down the line that these two are going to merge together and it's just going to be the Chrome browser here on Android. Let's go ahead and open it up, you can see the Chrome icon looks like, looks like the one you see on your desktop. Open it up here, and this is sort of the main interface you see here. You have your most accessed uh, web pages right here, as you, as you see on the um, desktop version of it. But you also have your favorites, but you have mobile favorites, and it can also access your desktop favorites because this will sync with your Google profile. So you can open that up and see your desktop favorites if you want to go through there too. And um, go back one, you can see uh, mobile bookmarks as well. I don't have anything in there currently. And you also have here where you can synchronize your uh, tabs. So whatever tabs that you have open on your desktop, it will actually synchronize here so you can open them on your web page too. Sort of taking that, sort of that idea for, of Chrome to phone, that little extension that it had to allow you to send things from your Chrome web browser all the way to your phone on Android phone. Now this is taking pretty much a step further and synchronizing tabs even. So now you can have a tab open here, a tab open here, and basically take that tab with you on the way out if you, you know, you're traveling or something like that. So I found that to be pretty cool. You also see here you have um, the menu with new tab, incognito tabs, bookmarks, other devices. If you have like Android 4.0 tablet to sync with this as well too. We'll check out the settings here. You can um, change your search engine. You, you can actually do bandwidth management too, which allows you to manage a preload of web pages, which it will basically cache up web pages to make them load up a little bit faster. And you can do that on only Wi-Fi or always, and that includes you know your mobile data, such as 3G or 4G. Save passwords, clear the browser data, you have developer tools and content settings and such. Go back here, we'll actually open up a new tab here, we'll actually go to uh, that, actually we'll stay on this tab and we'll actually open up bw1.com since we already have it open up on the desktop here. So you can see there, you can see how fast it rendered, it rendered really fast, you can see it's got most of the elements in there. You can uh, pinch the zoom, you see how smooth the pinch the zoom is compared to the uh, standard browser on here as well too. You can see it doesn't fully support Flash just yet. As I as I noticed when I try to do some Flash elements, we'll try to go to a site that I know has some Flash on it. Why don't you go to uh, and this is pretty much the way you you switch between tabs. You can go to here and go here, and you can actually uh, kind of adjust this along too. You can pull this up, down. You have a little nice little animation graphic there for doing that. We'll open up a new tab and we'll actually head to CNN.com if we can. Oh, back here. Go to CNN and we'll open up the full site and we'll actually switch this over into landscape mode here so you can see how it works in landscape mode as well too you can see there and that's a flash element there and we'll just click on I'll tap on that and you can see the flash logo comes up so this device does have flash on it but the flash doesn't it's not supported within the browser unfortunately there but still you see the quick load times smooth smooth scrolling smooth pinch to zoom pages render pretty fast pretty slick really nice there and you can and this way this is where you pretty much do in a landscape mode to swipe between the different tabs that you have open and to close out a tab just simply just hit an X we'll hit an X there and it just falls off <laughs> it's pretty cool I like that animation and we'll open up another tab here show you the animation I really like that animation actually when you close out a tab and I'll show you how it works sort of in portrait mode here and you just X out just falls right off <laughs> pretty slick there but as you can see the, um, this is still in beta but it, it felt so far it's fast and it's pretty smooth and and it's promising I really am excited that you know Google's finally bringing the Chrome um, Chrome browser to the Android platform it just always made sense that that should be the browser on Android should be the default browser and you can see the synchronization and things as well too so definitely going forward I'm, I'm really excited to see what more this browser is going to have to offer in the future and can't wait to see its development and definitely I want to see more Android 4.0 devices out there so they can definitely take advantage of using this browser. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you to subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, also circle us on Google Plus and um, also check out our main website. We have a link to this uh, article, it's in the description and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.